Hi, welcome back to Flash Recap. Today I'm gonna show you a 1972 thriller drama movie called, What the Paper Shaw, spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins and we see a woman named Sarah, who is going to take a bath in her bathtub, but then Sarah gets an electric shock in the bathtub, and Sarah gets killed here. After this we are shown a scene after one year. Here we see a girl named Alice who comes to stay at her husband Paul house. Paul first wife was Sarah, who was killed by electric shock in the bathtub, and after killing Sarah, Paul married Alice in his second marriage. Paul is a businessman, who lived outside his home most of the time. Paul invites Alice to his home to take care of his 12-year-old son. Paul's son's name was Marcus. Paul has told Alice that Marcus has gone to school, who will return home a week later, that's why Alice comes here already. Alice sees here that Marcus has already come to the house before that. Alice asks Marcus why he's already at home, then Marcus tells her that his school is on holiday because an illness has spread to his school. Alice also believes Marcus' words. Alice was finding Marcus quite strange here, because even though Marcus was young in age, but he used to talk like that of big people. The next day Paul calls Alice, because Paul wanted to talk to his son. When Alice brings the phone to Marcus, Paul talks to his son. After talking to Marcus, Paul starts talking to Alice. Alice was talking to Paul when Marcus starts touching Alice inappropriately from behind. Alice is furious at this behavior of Marcus, but she leaves from here without saying anything to Marcus. Now as the day passes, Alice learns that Marcus is a spoiled boy, because of which he does not even have any friends. Alice would always take good care of Marcus, but Marcus was a spoiled boy, who always used to look at his own stepmother with dirty eyes. A few days later Marcus dead Paul comes back to his house after finishing his work. Marcus and Alice were also at the airport to pick up Paul, when all three of them come home. Marcus goes outside to play and Paul goes to the room with Alice to get physical. This evening all of them come to a restaurant to have dinner. Paul here tells Alice that did you take money out of my locker? Then Alice says that no, I did not withdraw any money, but that money was taken out by Marcus to pay him to the taxi. Hearing this, Marcus says that I had come out to pay only 20 cents. But Alice tells this, that you told me that I have taken out all the money from the locker of the dead. On hearing this, Marcus says that I have not told you anything like this. Now Paul puts all the blame on Alice for missing the money. So Alice comes home and searches Marcus's room. Alice does not get the money here but she finds a torn letter in Marcus's room. While swimming one day, Marcus tells his father Paul that Alice doesn't care about it at all, and Alice doesn't like it either. Alice was here listening to Marcus's talk. Paul doesn't pay much attention to what Marcus says because Marcus is a small child, and little kids keep talking like that. Marcus tells his dad that Alice searched his room today, so Paul asks Alice about him but Alice doesn't tell Paul anything. The next day Alice comes to his school to find out about Marcus. Marcus' teacher tells Alice that Marcus is not on vacation because he has been suspended from the school. Teacher tells that he had also sent a letter to Marcus to be suspended from school, but that letter was torn by Marcus, some piece of which Alice had found that day in Marcus's room. The school teacher tells Alice that Marcus is a very spoiled boy, who used to spy on the houses around the school and watch the people getting intimate in the house. On the other hand, Marcus used to kill the cats roaming around the school. Seeing all these antics of Marcus, he was suspended from this school. One day Paul brings Alice to a party. Alice meets a woman at the party, whose name is Sophie. Sophie says that Sarah used to be a good friend of hers, who suddenly died one day while taking a bath in the bathtub. Alice was now beginning to believe that Marcus had killed his mother, Sarah. Alice also tries to convince Paul of this and tells that Marcus's habit is very dirty, but Paul does not believe in Alice's words, on the contrary, both of them start fighting with each other. One night Alice comes to the upstairs room. Alice sees a hole here, her bedroom was clearly visible from this hole, seeing the hole, Alice comes to know that it was Marcus who did this hole, so that he can see them getting intimate. Alice quickly approaches Marcus. Alice angrily asks Marcus why he sees them getting intimate. Marcus then says that it's great to see someone getting intimate. Alice says that then you will see Sarah in the same way. Then Marcus says yes but he did not like Sarah that much, because Sarah did not look as hot as Alice. Alice asks Marcus about Sarah's death. Then Marcus tells her that Sarah had a heart attack that killed her. But Alice says you are lying, because Sarah died due to electric shock. Alice says you know a lot about Sarah's death but you don't want to tell me. Marcus says why should I tell you all this and what will I get in it. Alice lures Marcus with money but Marcus refuses to tell the truth. And says it just needs Alice Alice Alice. Hearing this, Alice starts taking off her clothes. Seeing Alice taking off her clothes, Marcus also starts telling the truth to Alice. Marcus reveals that Sarah had a heart condition which no one knew about and Sarah did not even tell this to Father Paul, but this thing was revealed to Marcus from a report of the doctor. 
Alice thinks that all that Marcus is telling her is a lie, so she does not believe what Marcus says and leaves from here. After this Alice brings the sail up to show the hole in the room above but there is no hole here. Alice says that Marcus is always watching her in their room but Paul does not believe Alice's words at all. Talking to Alice, Paul was now beginning to feel that Alice was slowly becoming mentally disturbed. But Alice was not going to give up, so she investigates Sarah's death. After investigating Alice comes to know that Marcus killed Sarah. Actually, Marcus had installed a bad heater in Sarah's bathtub, due to which Sarah got electric shock and she was killed. Now that Alice came to know that Marcus had killed Sarah, she asks Marcus to know more things from Marcus, why did he kill Sarah? Marcus tells that Sarah did not like it. Marcus also says here that he enjoys killing people by torturing them. Alice is completely shocked after listening to Marcus because Marcus was now going to kill Alice as well. Alice does not understand anything. What to do if she does this now? Because no one was believing Alice's words. Alice's words also seem to Paul. That Alice is going crazy now slowly. Really Alice is going crazy because of which she is kept in a mental hospital. After a few months, Alice gets well and she comes back home. One day Paul Alice and Marcus had come out for a walk, Marcus was playing with his dog here and Alice was talking with Paul. Sometime later, Alice and Marcus meet each other, and they talk about Sarah's death. Marcus says he won't kill Alice anymore because she's starting to like it. Alice talks romantically with Marcus here. Alice says that together they will kill Pal, after that both of them will run away from here. Alice does a kiss to Marcus here. Alice here sees a car that was speeding down the road. Seeing this, Alice throws dog's toy on the road, so that dog goes to catch him, Marcus also runs after him to save his dog, Marcus was in the middle of the road when a speeding car hits Marcus, due to which Marcus is killed here, Alice is overjoyed by Marcus' death, because the plan that Alice had made to kill Marcus was successful, Alice is now tension free after Marcus's death, and our movie also ends here, thanks for watching guys.